We're here tonight because our music series Uncharted, it's gone so far beyond our expectations. Uncharted started as an idea for, for Uproxx, and it's really taken on a life of its own, and it's turned into a showcase, it's turned into discovering new talent. This is cool, I'm, I'm excited, and uh, it's nerve-wracking, so it's kind of scary. And there's so much energy in the other room, and it's really exciting because you know, everybody's here to celebrate what we've all been a part of and, you know, to see new people. And it's just, it's just cool. It makes me realize that a lot of people have seen the episode. This series is going really, really well. And we want to create more of a community with all of our artists at Uproxx. And Honda wants to get behind that too. So they were like, how do we get more involved with the artists? We were like, let's throw an event and let's invite people that can actually make a difference. At first I was feeling kind of nervous, but now I'm kind of excited. I'm actually really excited. I'm still nervous, but I'm <laughs> more excited than nervous. Welcome to the village. So it's a 1920 Masonic temple, and every room's got magic history. So the Village Recorders is a historic studio in Los Angeles. Countless albums have been made at the village. Sting, Elton John, Guns N' Roses. And Lady Gaga, uh, she might make it someday, you never know. Maybe. Anyway, we hope that we have you on the wall one day soon. Thank you. To be in a place like this is nice. I'm hoping to, you know, soak up all the greatness from all the people who were here before me. <laughs> There's like history here, you know? And then you look on the walls and Snoop Dogg and Dre's album and, and John Mayer and everybody, you know? So it's really cool and, and humbling to be here. It's really awesome. You know, to make it, to make it, a thousand things have to go right. Everything has to come together. If it comes together, it's crazy how big it can be. It's nice and important to me because it's my first time really getting like a feel of like a stage and, and performing. So I know that I'm not gonna you know, be the best, but I'm excited that now is the start and I have room to grow. It's important for her to do shows because she is starting out right now. You never know who could be at the show. Producers, A&Rs, all of these label people. It's very important for that because it's not only connecting with the fans, it can also help propel her career in a way that she never thought could be possible. I just hope people believe me, what I'm saying, because it all came from a special place. I hope I can get my foot in the door. People start to know me, remember me. The industry, it's really hard to get their attention. Early adopters are people that just have a sort of innate sense of what is coming and to kind of hear the potential. And those early adopters are the ones that we hope to get into the room. Because once those people champion something, other major labels, other hitters that are used to breaking artists into the stratosphere, listen to those people. The essential part of a showcase is that someone else will be helping you get your material in front of the industry. Thank you, guys. The first thing is to connect with, really, really, like, truly connect with people. And not that, oh, this guy is a good singer or something like that, but you feel something. When I was a kid, I would run around the house singing some song that I made up, but I never expected to be someone as, you know, musician-wise. Even now, I'm like, oh my God, they're flying me out to LA, these people, they don't know. <laughs> this guy's story is incredible. For those that you don't know Demir, this guy didn't think he had it. Maybe he still doesn't know, but we'll remind him. If your life just crashed like the Titanic Your father was in jail and your mom was schizophrenic And every time you walked into... I'm so used to singing in the subway where I just go and I just express myself. Being here and being able to look at people and connect with them and there, there's no trains going by, it's gonna be nice. I saw your face and I felt your... It felt good. It is weird because I guess I'm just not used to it. It was nice to have people actually listen, you know? Like everyone listening. I look at this type of storytelling as the best way to build an audience. 
You can build an audience with a song, but no one really knows you or why they should care. And the minute that song isn't popular anymore and the next one is, they forget about you. But people don't forget about the artist's stories, and Han is letting us tell these stories. That's what's making these artists develop real fans. Because once they get invested in who the artist is, then they're fans for life. You know, I just wanted to come and thank everybody here and give them a performance and be a part of, you know, the culture. We are the body of light that will inspire an entire lifeline. You are the key to the clouds that block the moon. As long as you believe. I think it's going to be just confirmation for myself. Like, I think I spoke a lot about manifestation during my episode, and then just to be here and going into a place that's even more exciting, I just want to take tonight and enjoy it and really just celebrate the fact that the music's out and that people have heard it and are hearing it. Yeah, we're the greatest of all time. We're like a ship we stay afloat. I know it's going to be kind of like a little intimate showcase, but we'll see if we can set it off and get people moving. Very awesome. A bunch of emotions on stage tonight. Yo, so Uprox really helped me out a lot. I want to say thank you to them. They featured me on this Uncharted deal, and it was like, I got like 2,000 messages on my Facebook the day that it came out, so it was pretty crazy. All right, we're going to go. I want you guys to kind of enjoy yourselves. Feel free to dance. It was an amazing night. Everybody showed up and brought their best, and everyone was authentic. And I think everybody saw that. Everybody saw that these are incredibly talented people, and, and they're all tuned into what we're doing now. Do you know an uncharted musician whose music deserves to be shared with the world? Email artists at whoisuncharted 